the example of space chair 2 looks pretty good yeah you can generate a green boot a chair that looks like a tree birthday cupcake ooh ice cream cone and then a chair that looks like avocado hey guys welcome to the channel today we are going to be looking at shape or shape e a generative ai model for three assets so effectively this model was unveiled by open ai and kind of enables you to generate 3d assets directly either from text or images now kind of tested uh, the model through a bunch of these samples and i'm going to show you how that looks let me quickly take a look at the paper that was published for this so you can see uh, the paper has mention of nerf which is effectively a technique that is used to generate a 360 degree 3d view of an object person or an environment nerf holds great potential for both movies advertisements and gaming in the near future so what shape or shape e enables you to do is and as a 3D representation of the nerf or neural radiance field. Some of the examples that the model had generated are here and we've I've kind of generated a few samples too across both text and image via the hugging face demo that the team has provided. You can see these are not perfect. At best, these look like some sort of Minecraft assets where these can act as a great starting point or can be a good starting point for the model to kind of take it forward from there. You can see there's a bowl of food, a penguin, a voxelized dog, a campfire. This is exactly how campfires look in game, uh, games like Valheim. Uh, an airplane that looks like a banana. There is a light purple teddy bear, a goldfish, a brown boot, an astronaut, a donut with pink icing. So great samples overall. Um, you can go ahead and read through the paper to understand how it works. The methods, the data set, the encoders. You know, there's, they've kind of outlined the entire process of how the model, you know, takes the ground ground truth and creates multiple samples based on pre-trained nerf, distilled nerf and fine-tuned nerf, which is the output of the model itself. Kind of also shown the progression here. They've used the conditioning image and then there's a point E sample and then there's a shape sample or shape E sample. So basically this is the original image. This is the initial initial generation and this is the fine-tuned generation by the model. And there's obviously more information available in the document here. If you're interested, go ahead and take a look. You can also find the code for Shapey here. This is the official co code. So if you're interested, kind of go ahead and feel free to set this up in your local system and test this out. It also kind of works with Blender. So there's something that you're looking at. Um, feel free to check this out as well. Now let's jump into the bunch of examples that we've generated using Shape. Um, so this is the first image where I put the info test dolphin. And the expectation was obviously to kind of generate a 3D mesh of a dolphin. And I wouldn't say this is a bad generation. I think this is a pretty good generation. The image kind of looks like a shark though, but uh, because dolphins have those pointy noses and this looks a bit like shark. But regardless, this is a great attempt at generating a 3D image. Very little context about what the image is, right? Um, I'm going to also try and generate the sample of a spaceship. I don't know if they have predefined examples, but I'm just going to try it out. So you can see there are a bunch of examples they've added here and it was able to generate the sample. The example of Spaceship 2 looks pretty good. Yeah, you can generate a green boot. Um, you can generate a chair that looks like a tree. You can generate a birthday cupcake, which is a pretty good generation. At least the starting point for the assets go. Ooh, ice cream cone. Yeah. And then a chair that looks like avocado. Yeah. So these are these these are you know some of the samples that they've given and obviously you can add the text here uh, for whatever you want to generate. You can also upload your images um, in order to generate 3D meshes. So while we look at other examples, I'm just going to feed in a sample image um, and see the kind of output it generates. So I'm going to feed this owl. It's obviously very complicated, um, but let's see what the kind of output we get. In the meantime, let's take a look at other examples. So there is this is the example of a car that I was able to generate. So I put put in the input as a car. And this is the output the model generated. Well, it's not perfect, but at least it gives someone a starting point to kind of build from this point. If they're working in Blender, the same chair that looks like an avocado, an airplane that looks like a banana. So really creative uh, in that way. Now note that these some samples are predefined. So they may turn out to look better than other samples, but um, effectively what this means is the model has capability to kind of get to this point. Uh, while it's very basic right now, I'm 100% sure like, you know, over the next few weeks or maybe months, we'll see a much more fine-tuned model for text to 3D or image to 3D. This is a bowl of vegetables and this too looks great. 
you know, talk about games like Skyrim 2, you, you might have seen things like this, even Red Dead Redemption, for example, right? So this can definitely be a game changer for games per se. Um, then I tried uploading uh, the image of an actual 3D dolphin. This is again an image, not a 3D representation. And it messed up, right? So you can see this is the kind of generation that it was able to do. And I can completely understand why, because it has no view of what the other direction looks like. But that's effectively what it was supposed to do, right? And I think it did a pretty bad job um, on this. I don't think it was able to even understand what this means. And this is the example of image to 3D, right? I've also tried one more 3D image and we've also uploaded one more already here. So we're going to check out both of them as well. Now, this is one more sample that I had uploaded um, from my computer. And I think this is relatively better than what was done here, right? So this is not bad at all, in my opinion. Like um, if someone were to use this in Blender, while well, they may have to work a bit more on the uh, aesthetics of the face, they do, won't necessarily have to work on the uh, structural integrity. But honestly, uh, it could do a lot better in my opinion. Like at this point, it's very, very new. And probably why you see results like this being generated. Uh, then we tried one more sample uh, of a penguin, which was also present in the uh, paper here, but was able to do a good generation for penguin. Then we tried generating a person looks very less like a person, more like a Minecraft player. We was able to generate like a 3D mesh that can be used uh, to generate video games that are more 2D aligned uh, per se. You know, and at this point, it's more like more suitable for games than for real world use cases. And finally, moving on to the image that we had uploaded for the owl and kind of did a pretty bad job, right? So it generated a cube. Um, for some reason, it kind of assumed this is a cube. Like I said, this is a very tough image to generate. And it did something which isn't really um, usable, to be very honest. But, you know, all of this is in very early stage. And, you know, if you look at some of the fine-tuned examples, these are some of the assets that can be used in the video game. And it's very, very new at this point. But I'm pretty sure this holds a great potential for the gaming industry, at least. Um, and as the model evolves, who knows, maybe it has great potential for movies and at least, you know, maybe animated movies per se. But let's see where this goes. For now, this is probably going to wait for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Drop your comments about what you think about the model. Um, if there are more text to 3D models you'd want me to explore, do let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.